Hello, everybody. How you doing? My name is DJ Gatsby. You're watching a talk show uh, with DJ Gatsby. Uh, it's a talk show that I have uh, featuring authors and their books. Today in the studio, we have uh, Monica Mathis Stowe. She's an author from here in Maryland, and we're going to talk about her latest book, Where Did We Go Wrong? Uh, met Monica a couple of weeks ago and told her about the celebrity show, and uh, she agreed to come on and uh, be a guest. So um, let's welcome Monica. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Okay. Um, as I told you, this is our first show, mm -hmm. so things might not go too well, but That's we're okay. doing our best to get it going. That's and again, okay. thank you for agreeing to come on and do the show. Okay. Um, first of all, I want you to tell the viewers, you know, a little bit about yourself. You know where you're from and uh, you know how you got started writing. Okay. I'm from Washington D.C., born and raised. I moved to PG County after I got married a few years ago, like 19 years ago. And I have a son. I live with my husband and son. Um, I work full time as an investigator for the federal government. When I'm not writing, reading, or taking care of my family, I um, do book signings promoting my book. Where do we go wrong? Okay. Yeah, uh, I love the book. Where do we go wrong? We're gonna talk about it in a few minutes. Um, my first question for you uh, is. When did you decide that you wanted to write your first book? I decided to become a writer when I was a teenager. Um, I had a cousin who worked at a local library and she gave me a bunch of Jackie Collins books and I couldn't get enough and I decided this is what I want to do. Um, I've written several books, but okay. this is my first published book and I don't think I will ever stop writing. I don't even consider myself a writer, I consider myself a storyteller, I tell stories. Well, it's funny that you said that because my next question was going to be when did you consider yourself a writer, but you consider yourself a storyteller. I don't, I don't know. I get um, comments from other authors that I need to tell more, show more, do this. And I just tell the story, and um, the readers get it. They enjoy it, so I'm just going to keep doing it my way, telling my stories. All right. Um, do you, you feel you have a specific writing style uh, to your writing? It's a little bit of everything. I like to take the readers on a roller coaster ride. I like them to feel, feel the characters, feel when they read the story, just relate to the characters. And so I don't really say I have a style. I say urban, contemporary urban fiction. Okay. Um, that's, that's more of my style. Um, where did we go wrong? Um, how did you come up with the title? It's the LTD song. I don't know if you're familiar with Jeffrey Osborne. Where Did We Go Wrong? Yes, song? Valid. Yeah. Song. yes. So I was sitting in traffic coming home from work, Thanksgiving 2010, and the song came on. And I just listened to it, and these three characters just popped in my head. I don't know if that's a curse or a blessing. Every time I hear a song, I come up with a story. And, um, and I just had to write it out. So I went home, downloaded the song, and I started writing it the week of Thanksgiving at Thanksgiving and I finished it maybe four months later and I just it, this was the story I wanted to show and tell people and my friends were like you have to publish this so that's what I did so you you told your friends about I let the them book, read I had test readers story. so they read it and they were asking send the next chapter when and I was like I have to work I can't just send you so give me time but they were craving more so I kept it going how long did it um, actually take you to write the it book. took me four months to write the book. It just took me a year of rewrites and working with an editor to get it publishable. So. Okay. Yeah, I understand that from a lot of uh, authors that I've spoke to. Writing is the easy part. Yes. So the rewriting is the hard part for me and taking criticisms from editors and test readers. Okay, before we start talking about the book, mm -hmm. you know, I want you to tell us about the book. Okay. Um, how much of it is realistic? I mean, None of it. I can say I went to Morgan State University. The characters met at Morgan State University. Okay. And that's about it. I don't have friends who uh, like these characters. Okay. And um, so the uh, circumstances that they find themselves in are just... Figment of my imagination. Okay. 
Isn't what? that crazy? <laughs> well, no, I have a big imagination, but I'm not able to, you know, to mm. put it down into story form and write a book. Okay. You know, if I wrote a book, it'd probably be about somebody who I know who <laughs> did something or went somewhere. <laughs> and I said, you know what, I'm going to write a book about this. So, mm -hmm. it takes a lot. Yeah. Um, let me see. You've self-published this book, or you had a publisher publish? What I did, I self-published through a publishing company, the literary, um, the company I'm, I created, the Literary Publishing Group. I pub self-published through Life Changing Books. Okay. So they have a program where they will help new authors, not every new author, but they will work with you, use all their connections and all their um, you know, staff to sure. promote and write your book. Okay. Publish it. Okay, that's a great idea. I liked when you did that. I mean, it was you started the publishing company, but you had uh, outside I assistance with, yes. the, with the publishing. Yes, Tressa Smallwood of Life Changing Books. Okay. Now, the book from the books that you read, um, you know, have you? What authors do you read today? Like, what authors uh, inspire you? What authors do you read? I don't have time to read, but when I do, it's always the latest Jackie Collins book. Um, I read Carl Weather. Um, I've read a few of Zane, Zane's books. Okay. Um, most of the books I read are about working class people. Okay. I haven't really gotten into the street lit because of my job. I don't want to see that. I don't want to read it. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like. <laughs> okay. But um, but I understand people enjoy it. Yeah. Well, people read about what they know. Yes. You said Jackie Collins. Yes. Carl Weber, who I love. You love Carl Weber? Yeah, I love him. He's family I business. I haven't read that one yet. One, yeah. And um, you also mentioned um, Zane. Yes. Oh, you know, she has her books made into a TV show. And that's who's I, I just read a, a couple of Zane's books, but yeah. um, I heard she was on television. I've never seen the show, though. Yeah, very provocative shows. Uh, I'm not sure what channel it's on. I don't watch it oh, okay. myself, but uh, I've heard very good things about her show. Oh, okay. And I'm also a big fan of her work also. Oh, okay. Um... We're going to take a break right now for a few minutes. We're going to come back to you. We're going to talk more about the book, and you're going to tell us all about Gabby and the rest of the gang. Okay. okay. All right, so stay tuned. We'll be right back with the talk show hosted by DJ Gatsby. What does it take to start something? A little time. A little exercise. A little laugh. <laughs> a little adventure. A little help. That's all it takes to make a big impact. As he always talks about, he had people in his life that really helped him out, and he wants to be that person in my life. Just like he is, I was like that at 14. I know exactly what it means yeah. to be a 14 year old guy. I think that's why we have a good relationship. It's fun and cool and nice. You get to see like how personality develops. Our friendship is good. At Big Brothers Big Sisters, a little bit of your support can go a long way towards making matches like these happen. Start something today at bigbrothersbigsisters.org slash start something. If you drive buzzed, it could cost you around $10,000. You'll face major legal fees, major fines, and steep insurance penalties. You could lose everything. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. We're back to talk show. I'm DJ Gatsby, we're on the set with uh, Monica Mathis Stowe. We're talking about her latest book, Where Did We Go Wrong? Uh, before we went to the break, you were telling us a little bit about the book and um, how you got started in writing and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. um, so I want you to tell me about these characters. We'll get them in a few minutes. Okay. There's a few more questions I got for you. Um, specifically about the book. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything you would change about the book if you could? I wouldn't make it a sequel. One of the editors suggested I make it a sequel. I took out my last six to nine chapters. And um, I haven't had time to write the sequel or finish it because I've been 
busy promoting this. If I had it to do all over again, I would have left those last chapters in and ended the book and started on my next project. Okay, but um, most of the books that are written these days, they're usually a trilogy, mm -hmm. three parts. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you wouldn't mm -mm. bring Gabby and the gang back? Well, I have no choice now. They're coming back and where did we go wrong again? But if I had it to do all over again, okay. I wouldn't. Yeah, if it was your choice to yes. do all over again. Um, who designed the covers for the book? It's a nice cover. Three um, beautiful young ladies on there. Who actually designed the covers for the book? Kelly, uh, designed by Kelly in New York. Yeah, she designed my cover, my website, my Twitter page, Facebook. She did it all. And she's even finished the uh, cover for Where Did We Go Wrong Again. In one shot, she did it. Okay. All right, um, real quick, before we get started talking about the book, mm -hmm. um, I want to know who's who on the cover. These are the three characters. These are the three characters. So, who is this in the pink? In the pink is Gabrielle Roche. Gabby. That's Gabby. And in the middle? Maxine Crawford Anderson. And here. Joy Marshall. Three, three very lovely ladies. Yes. All right. Um, now I'm going to ask you to tell us about the book. I know you want people to buy the book and read the book. You don't want to give it away. No. But um, can you give us a brief uh, synopsis of this book? And uh, so readers will have an idea of what it's about okay. before they run off to the bookstore or, you know, jump on their computers and uh, download it from Amazon. Okay. It's not your typical housewives book. I mean, these girlfriends are best friends and they share this unbelievable, unbreakable bond. They're there for each other through the thick and thin, unlike the reality TV shows where they're bickering. I mean, they do have their arguments, but they stick together. One is abused by her husband. The other one depends on her mother to make all her life's decisions, her choices for her. And the um, other character, Gabby, is just a handful. I get constant emails about Miss Gabby. But um, so the book follows the relationship drama they have, not with each other, but with their men, the men in their lives. Okay. Now, are they uh, childhood friends? Do they meet in college? They uh, they met it, they they met at col in college, Morgan State University, Morgan. and they just developed this bond as sisters, and they're in their late twenties now, and they stick together. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I've heard a lot about okay. Gabby. What is it about Gabby that makes her the star, in my opinion, of this of this book? I mean, if I if I saw the movie, I would think she was the star of the of the book. I mean, I didn't write her as the star, but she somehow turned out to be that way. But she's just a horrible human being. She's just nasty. She gets what she wants, and she doesn't care who she hurts to get it. No, it seems men are the ones oh, who usually yeah. get hurt. Oh and, yeah. So and she she way. uses men, and they want to be used by her because she's beautiful, and she knows what to do to get them. Wow, sounds like somebody I'd like to meet. I can't wait for part two also. Oh, good. Um, what can um, your readers expect from Gabby and this, these beautiful young ladies? And where did we go wrong again? Well, it, where did we go wrong Glenn, ends with a cliffhanger. There's a shooting, and nobody knows who was shot. So that shooting is going to cause some conflict between the girls, between the friends. I mean, it's, they're going to have some difficulties in their relationships, but by the end of the book, they will come back together as friends. So, so their, their friendship and relationship is going to be tested? Yes. Uh, in the next book? Yes. Okay. We anxiously waiting. Any idea uh, of release date or fall, anything? In the fall. It will be released in the fall. Oh, this, to, this year, this fall year? Oh, 2012. Right. Yes. All right, you guys heard first right here. Uh, Where did we go wrong again? Release yes. fall, 2012. fall of 2012. Make sure I get an exclusive on that. I sure will. I'll come right back here and talk to you about it. Yeah, we definitely want you to come back. Okay. Um, did you learn anything about yourself or, or your friends or anybody that you know from writing this book? I mean, did you learn any, any, any advice to give somebody or did you learn how people go through these situations? you know, from the process of writing this book? Not from writing the book. Once it was published, I didn't, uh, I honestly didn't expect people in the United Kingdom, Denmark, 
um, France, Mexico. I didn't expect them to download it and read it and send me comments. I just wasn't expecting that. I was thinking people I grew up with, local, the, you know, friends. Oh, it's much better. You thought it's, it was going to be. Oh, my goodness. It's been downloaded over 10,000 times. Yeah, well, yeah, most something. of the authors, uh, contemporary authors, are, are international sellers. People buy these books from all over the country, all yeah. over the world. Um, one more question for you. Do mm -hmm. you have any specific, uh, anything specific you want to say to your readers before we wrap this up? Yes. Please go to um, Amazon.com and download your copy of Where Do We Go Wrong, or you can purchase a paperback. And also it's available at my website, uh, www.monicamathisstow.com. Okay. Well, listen, I wish we had more time, mm -hmm. but uh, promise me that you'll come back in the fall when I you will. release Where Do We Go Wrong Again. And we'll pick up on this interview and talk a little bit more about Gabby and uh, what <laughs> Maxine and Joy. Gabby and Maxine and Joy. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's Monica Mathis Stowe. Thank, Thank you, you so much for coming up. No problem. Uh, don't forget to pick up our book, Where Did We Go Wrong? Amazon.com, and visit our website uh, with information on how to contact her. Um, we'll be right back. We have DC Book Diva in the building, also Eon Williams, and uh, make sure I get this right, RJ Champ is here. So stay where you're at. We'll be right back with the talk show and DJ Gatsby's.